hi friends welcome back in this tutorial i will teach you about the toolbars of adobe dreamweaver cc there are three toolbars in adobe dreamweaver cc and the names of these toolbars are you can see here if you will click on view option there is an option that is toolbars and there are three types of toolbars in adobe dreamweaver cc the first one is document then standard and then coding okay you can see this one is standard toolbar and this one is document toolbar and this one is coding toolbar okay now let me explain you first of all about standard toolbar okay so here few options that you can use like uh, this one is new so if you will click on new so from here you can create a new document you can start with starter templates or you can see about site templates okay this option you can also see here in file new the second option is open so if you have any existing file like html css javascript php X, xml file you can open in dreamweaver see you can open and document types also you can see here okay. then the next option you can see that is save so if you will create something like this glass container and container is closed so you can save this so this file basically i have saved already this file as index.html so if i will use this option save so dreamweaver will save this file if i will use save as so save all sorry so for instance if we have opened more than one file like uh, css html javascript you know more than one file so we can save all and this one is print code if you will click on print code then you can print this code this page okay and this one is cut for example if you will select something these options will enable so you can cut this code you can copy this code for example you will copy then this option will enable so I can paste in my page like this okay and this one is undo and redo okay so this was standard toolbar and this is document toolbar where you can see code split design and live view so in dreamweaver you can see four type of views if you will also click on view you can also see these option here code split code design code and design so if I will click on code right now code is enabled so we can see here only code view if I will click on split then code and design view will active if I will go to view option and split vertically so you can see like this then from view design view on left now if i will create something in my container let me show you this is design view this one and this one is code view so in container if i will create like div class column md for div close and copy this you can also use control c can for copy and control x for cut and control v for paste okay now see h2 about us and then h2 menu and then about contact us when i will click on design view now i can see this view also 
okay so whatever i will change here we can see here in design view you can also change from design view for example if i will change from here this privacy policy so you can see this will change also in design view if i will select live view now you can see this is as you can see in your browser so this is live view if you will click only on live then you can see only live view and if you click on design view then you can see only design view now if you will preview this page in google chrome so dreamweaver will ask you about save changes to index and click yes now you can see this one okay and if you will click again on code toolbar you can see here the next one the last one is code toolbar coding toolbar okay so during this course when i will use these all options during code during template creation you will also learn these options okay if you want to show or hide these toolbars you can go to view and click toolbars and click document document will hide view toolbars in standard standard will hide view toolbars coding will hide so if you want to re-enable them you can enable from here or you can right click here you can also see these options here document like for example i will click document so document will hide document toolbar will hide so we can re-enable or reshow also from here. Thank you very much.